Hello students, welcome to Adhihant Online Video Classes. In the previous session, we have discussed the concept. Now we are going to solve few questions based on that concept. Let's see the very first question. For each of the following pairs of numbers, verify that LCM into HCF is equal to product of the numbers. First take the LCM of 20 and 30. Here 20, 30. Use division method. 2 tens, 2 fifteens. Take 5 here. 5 twos, 5 threes. 2 and 3 are co-prime numbers. Now multiply all these numbers. We will get the LCM. 2 fives, 10. 10 twos, 20. 20 threes, 60. Now LCM is 60 here. Now find the HCF of 20 and 30. 20, 30. 20 ones, 20. Remainder is 10. Now take 20 here. 10 ones, 10 twos, 20. Remainder is 0. HCF here is 10. Now, LCM into HCF is equal to product of the numbers. LCM is 60 here. HCF is 10 equal to product of two numbers. Those numbers are 20 into 30. 20 into 30 is 600. This is also 600. So, this is verified. Okay. Let's see the next one. First, find the LCM of 104 and 195. 104, 195. Take 5 table. 104 is not divided by 5. 5 threes, 15, <coughs> 45, 5 nines. Take 3 table. This 104 is not divided by 3 also. 3 ones, 3, 3 threes, 9. Let's see the 13 table. See the 13 table. 13, 8, 104, 13, 1, 13. These are co-prime numbers. Now multiply all the numbers. We will get the LCM. 5, 3 is 15. 15 into 8, 120. 120 into 13. So now, 13 into 0, 0, 13 twos, 26, 2 here, 13 ones, 13, 13 plus 2, 15, okay. LCM is 1560. Now find the HCF, 104, 195, 104 ones, 104, 1, 9, take 104 here. 91 ones, 91. Reminder is 3, 1. Now, 91 here. 13 sevens, 91. Reminder is 0. So, HCF is 13. Here, LCM is 1560. HCF is 13. Now, Look at this one. LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. LCM is 1560. 1560 into HCF that is 13 is equal to product of two numbers that is 104 into 195. Now multiply these two values and these two values. Otherwise, we can cancel the values, then we will get the same answer. 13 ones, 13 eights. These two are divided by, this is divisible by 8, 8 ones, 8 ones, 8, 76, 76, nines, 72, 45. So, here 195, here also 195. 195 is equal to 195. Therefore, this is verified. Otherwise, you can multiply 1560 into 13 and 104 into 105. We will get the same value both the sides. Okay. Let us see the next one. That is 60, uh, 30 and 65. Find the LCM first. 30, 60, 5, 6, 30, 5, 13s. 
these two are co prime numbers now multiply all the values 13 5s 65 into 6 that is 6 5s 30 6 6 36 39 so lcm is 390 here now find the hcf 30 should divide 65 30 twos 60 Reminder is 5. So, 30 here. 5, 6, 30. Reminder is 0. HCF is 5. Now, HCF is equal to 5. Now, take the condition. LCM into HCF is equal to product of the numbers. LCM is 390 into HCF is 5 equal to those two numbers are 30 into 65. Okay. So, whatever the method you follow, you can multiply or cancel. 0, 0 cancel. 3 1s, 3 13s. 13 into 5, 65. So, here also 65. This is verified. Let us move on to the next one. The HCF of two numbers is 19. HCF of two numbers is 19. And their LCM is 228. LCM is equal to 228 if one of the numbers is 57 then find the other let's take a and b are two numbers one number a is 57 find the b here we know the condition lcm into hcf is equal to product of two numbers LCM is 228, HCF is 19 equal to A is 57 into B. Now cancel. 19 1s, 19 3s. 3 table, 10, 12. Okay, this is divisible by 3. 7s, 21, 18, 6. B is equal to 76 here. The second number is 76 here. Let us move on to the next one. The product of two numbers is 3174 and their LCM is 138 and their HCF is equal to. Okay. Product of two numbers. Here we know the condition LCM into HCF equal to A into B if those two numbers are a into b here we have the condition lcm into hcf is equal to a into b a and b are those two numbers product of two numbers that is 3174 equal to lcm is 138 we have to find hcf here okay now cancel in two table, two six twelve, two nines eighteen, two ones two fives two eights sixteen two sevens fourteen. Okay. So let's check with the three table. This is divisible by three table. Uh, six. Yes, this is also divisible by three table. Three fives fifteen, three twos six, three nines twenty seven, three twos three threes. 23 ones, 23 23s because 529 is 23 square that's why 23 into 23 is 529 now hcf is equal to 23 here okay right let's let's solve the next question the product of two numbers is 4107 if hcf of these numbers is 37 then find the greater number yes Product of two numbers is that is A into B equal to 4107. If the HCF of these numbers is 37, HCF of these two numbers, that means here HCF is equal to 37. So those numbers will be 37A into 37b equal to 41 
zero seven. Then find the greater number. Now we can now cancel thirty seven ones, thirty seven triple ones, thirty seven ones, thirty seven threes. Now a b equal to three. So how can I get this a b equal to three? If I take one into three equal to three, and three into one equal to three. So these are the only two possible conditions here, which is satisfying a b equal to three. There is no other condition to satisfy a b equal to three other than one and three. Okay, then find the greater number. So if I take here numbers are thirty seven a and thirty seven b. Okay, now see if I take in the place of a, I will get if I take. One in the place of a, I will get thirty-seven. Thirty-seven into one, thirty-seven. If I take b is three, then I will get triple one. Now, what is the greatest number between these two numbers? Triple one is the greatest number. Okay, let's see the next question. The HCF of two numbers is eleven. HCF is equal to eleven, and their LCM is double seven double zero. LCM equal to double seven double zero. If one of the numbers is two seventy five, that is A is equal to two seventy five, then find the other number that is B. Okay. We have the condition that is LCM into HCF is equal to product of two numbers. LCM is seven seven zero zero. Into HCF equal to eleven equal to A two seventy five into B. Eleven table eleven ones eleven twos twenty two eleven fives fifty five twenty five ones twenty five threes seventy five two is remainder two hundred. Twenty-five eights two hundred. That is zero. Now B is equal to three zero eight here. The other number is three zero eight. Okay. Let's see the next one. The product of two numbers is thirteen twenty. That is A into B equal to thirteen twenty. HCF is here. We have the formula. LCM into HCF equal to Product of two numbers that is a into b. Product of two numbers is given that is thirteen twenty. HCF is six here. We have to find the LCM. Now cancel by six table. Six two twelve six two twelve zero. LCM equal to two twenty. Let's see the next question. Prove that. LCM of two co-prime numbers is always their product. Here we should know what are co-prime numbers, which is already discussed in the previous video classes. What are co-prime numbers? Co-prime numbers means the common factors. The common factors of any given numbers must be only one. That means. The given numbers should not have any common factor other than one. Those numbers are called co-prime numbers. See here, co-prime numbers need not be prime numbers. Okay, we can take any numbers. Let's take twenty-seven and five. These are co-prime numbers because these two numbers are having only one as their common factor. So these two numbers are co-prime numbers. Co-prime numbers need not be prime numbers. Okay, let's see. Co-prime numbers. See here, the LCM of two co-prime numbers is always their product. For example, I am taking two, three. Find the LCM of two and three. That is six. How can we find the LCM of two and three? Two and three are co-prime numbers, so we should multiply the num given numbers. We get LCM. If there is no common factor other than one, we have to multiply the numbers. Then we get the LCM of those two numbers. Okay, this is the answer. Now take three and five. 
LCM is 15 product and 5 and 6 what is the LCM here here also same LCM is 30 here everywhere we are getting the product itself is LCM of the co prime numbers okay